G'day fellow ratbags, and welcome to another episode of Dirt Riders TV. Bag it up! Today we're going to visit the Wandam National Park. Just up the road here there's a place called Mother Mountain Rock Pools. Pretty little spot, lots of bush, good riding, so sit back and enjoy the ride. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Let us know what you want to see so we can do our best to bring you more of what you like. So here we are, this is where the rock pools are. And I'm going to stay out of the barricades. We won't go in there today. Do not try this at home. All these stunts are performed by professional rap bags. I repeat, do not try this at home. Behind that fence is where the rock pools are. Pretty, aren't they? But you can't ride dirt bikes through them, so who cares? Oh, shit. How long have you had these droids? About three or four seasons. They're up for sale if we want them. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. Thanks, guys. Have a good day, eh? In reality, I was really grateful I didn't get a fine, and they were only doing their job, so they were good sports. This guy's going to keep on going, so I'm going to have to get past him. I'm going to sit here all day. Thank you. All right. Up, up. Got to watch out these woo boys. They have some sneaky surprises on the back end sometimes. I know there's one up here that has reasonable sized rock. Just when you're not expecting it. Yeah, here we go. Look at this stuff. Head up, up. Oh, yeah, this one's a sneaky one. So I'm going to take a quick run straight to the end. That just shows you this short road. It takes 10 minutes. Well, last time it took about 10, 15 maybe. But I'll edit a bit of it out, I hope. But then again, I don't want you to miss out on any of the action. And then later, we're gonna sneak up a few of the side roads and do a bit of exploring. Thinking about this being the next track we take for a group ride. Someone's been up here this morning on a bike. You see that? Really like this track. Good little workout. Get you up on your feet. And rocks like that keep you thinking. Oh yeah, we've got a bit of traffic today, see? Thanks. Opens up a bit up here. Oh yes, couple of sneaky ones.
Time's about 12 o'clock. Nice and cool in here. I've just got my shirt on, jeans, boots. I came up here like that rock. Oh, I wouldn't want to hit him hard. I came up here the other week in the afternoon and started getting a bit too chilly. Oh, frosty, but you know. Give it a couple more weeks. It'll be stinking hot up here. They're going to come up here after a good heavy rain, or even in the rain, perhaps, just to see the difference. Now, this track's only about 10 15 minutes from my place, it's very handy, and it has a lot of everything. Last time I was up here, we had a bit of extra exploration, and I can see there's opportunity to make some single track if I can't find any. Well let's say I'm not going to make any single track. The leaves and trees are just going to fall down on their own and we can find our way through it. As natural as possible. The little humps, I call them woo boys, because they woo the water and shoot it off the road. Because they're all different sizes and shapes, you just don't know what you're going to get. Like Forrest Gump, life's like a box of chocolates. So are the woo boys. like these ferny things.
there I want to take later. They've been owned by the State Forestry. They do take care of these roads a bit in the sense that you don't have big logs across the road and you know they try and keep it tidy. But we're gonna go into some of their off-roads a bit later. We'll have to take it a bit slower. You never know what's dropped overnight or over a few weeks since they check them out, you know. Yeah. As you can see, this ride's got a bit of everything. Keeps you on your toes. Give it a squirt or two. up here and start bagging it up. When the shadows are like this, hide the bloody potholes a bit. Got to get your wits about you. Oi! Another one stuck up. This heads to a town called Coran, Pomona, and back down to the highway of Brisbane. Up here, it goes up to a lookout, and that's a dead end. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little sprint. I didn't even time it. But I don't think it took very long. I'll know on the video how long it took. So until next time, don't forget, subscribe down below. That'll help us make more of these videos for you to enjoy. Give us a thumbs up and write in the comments any questions or what you'd like to see in the future. Until then, get outside and play. <laughs>